it was such a, a thrill for me. You know, I, I, I played one year of high school football. I went to Pitt. I left Pitt and went to Tennessee. And when I got drafted by the Browns, I mean, it was like I'm playing professional football. So I really, you know, it was almost like this is special. And, and you know, we're good. And I don't know if I ever walked on the field feeling like, you know, we were underdogs. And, and, and I know one thing, as I watched Jim Brown play, and I watched, you know, Warfield play, you know, you saw some superstars. So you figured he had to be pretty good. And, and Frank Ryan, I, I don't think he ever got the credit that he should have gotten, and neither did Ernie Green. Ernie Green was a, a hell of a football player. And again, if you think about it, the guy sitting on a bench running back punts and kickoffs was, uh, was Kelly. It was almost like circle the wagons that, that they thought we were underdogs. And I don't ever, I mean, that football team, I don't know if they ever thought they were under, underdogs anywhere. And, and if you really thought about it, you know, probably the greatest running back ever and had a heck of an offensive line. I mean, you know, if you look at uh, Wooten and Hickerson and, and Shafrath and that whole bunch, I mean, they, they really, and, and the funny thing is, probably maybe the weakest link, but I don't think he was, but Monty Clark, but he played, you know, Monty was a good football player, but he just didn't get, you know, the, uh, the recognition. So you know you're going to be able to run the football, and if you can run the football, you now can go play action, and you got Gary Collins on one side and Paul Warfield on the other side. Uh, you know, I don't think uh, the odds maker was, they were wrong again. If you go back a few years later with Baltimore, they were, 16-point favors against the Jets or something. So, you know, what do they know?